for those of you who don't know, I was born and raised in Southern California. I know, I know, we're up in Colorado now, and I love Colorado, but this is my home. So, how do I feel driving a family car here? Frankly, a little old. The good news is, the C-Max is surprisingly sprightly. You put your foot down and it goes, like right now. It's really surprising. I think the reason why, and I keep forgetting this, is that there's also an electric motor helping out the gas engine. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner we have the reigning champion. At over 2 million units sold worldwide, there is no doubt that people think of Prius when they think of a hybrid. And this, the V, is a station wagon version. And in this corner we have the Ford C-Max, which is only a hybrid, although you can get a plug-in hybrid version of it. And it is a direct challenger of the Prius V. So which one's better? Let's find out. Mine. The Prius V has Toyota's ubiquitous hybrid synergy drive, basically the same engine that's in the regular Prius, and combined with the electric motor, it puts out 134 horsepower. Beat that. That's not bad, but guess what? The Ford C Max and its 2 liter gas powered engine, combined with the uh, electric motor, yep. puts out 188 horsepower. Well, 50 more. Mm -hmm. But everybody knows the Prius is the MPG King, 40 miles to the gallon combined. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's not bad. 47 miles per gallon combined. Wow, two points to the Ford. Yo, Nathan, how's it back there? I'm trying to get the seat to just take my butt. Take it! It's a little stiff in the back. Legroom's not too bad. Seats do not recline, nor do they slide fo and aft. In the Prius, not only are the seats cushy and comfortable, but get this, they slide back and forth, and they recline. Point Toyota. Wanna see something cool? Sure, show me. Check this out. Use the force. Wow. Ooh. Is that standard, Nathan? It is optional, and it's cool. It is cool, but you know, I was just in there filming, and this car has twice as much room in the back. It's got a lot more room. Oh, let me see. Oh, 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 that was difficult. I sprained my little finger. So you may be wondering about handling. Hey, it's kind of like a tall focus. Here's the problem, and it's the one thing that Ford has really had issues with recently, and that is having a numb steering feel. I honestly don't know what the front wheels are doing. I know it's a hybrid, I shouldn't be expecting much, but at the same time, it would be nice to have at least a little bit of weight in the steering. It's, it's kind of loose, it's numb, but once again, it's a commuter, so many of you won't care about that. guys, I have to be honest here, I've owned a Prius, so I have a soft spot in my heart for this vehicle. But I know that the C-Max is more fuel efficient, it's more powerful, and it probably handles better than this because there's not a lot of road feel here. Having said all that, I think that the Toyota is less pretentious, more honest, and it will run till kingdom come. <laughs> so wrong. C-Max is comfortable. The C-Max is faster, the C-Max is better, in almost every way this ride's better. This one has better seats, I admit. But the C-Max is kind of fun. This isn't. Are you saying I'm not fun, Nathan? Hell yeah. <laughs> so if I'm counting, that's four to one. Yeah, four to one. <laughs> okay, I closed a little bit. Gentlemen, have you ever noticed that in movies, cars never have these headrests? Yeah. 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 Yeah, they remove them so you can see what the driver and passenger are saying. They're in essence, props that you don't need. And in this video, I'm that prop because I'm behind the camera. So gentlemen, how is it back here? It's really tight and the cushion's really firm. Really tight, yeah. <clears throat> Hard seats. And my tushy's not happy right now. <laughs> Continue on with the review, please. Yes, I think this would be great for little kids. What, what do you think? Yeah, okay. I, th I think you get some rugrats back here. Yeah. But not three big guys. <laughs> no, I gotta open the door. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Now, 
47, 47, 47. That's pretty cool. That's uh, really cool. Yeah. And we're talking MPGs. 47 City, 47 Highway, 47 Combined. Tell me about the powertrain. How do you get such fantastic numbers? So this is our third generation hybrid system. So we still use the power, power split technology that we've used in our previous generation hybrids. But now we're combining it with lithium ion batteries. Um, we've downsized the engine to make it efficient and kind of operated its best position in terms of the two liter uh, inline four and an Atkinson cycle. And at the same time, we've also improved the transmission. And for the first time, we're building that as well as the battery systems in-house. Objectively, there is no doubt that is a better car. But if it were my money, I'd probably go for the Prius. Buy it, rent it, lease it, or forget it. Let's wait till we have it for a week. Nathan, how about you? What would you say? I think it's off to a really good start, but we haven't had a chance to really drive it. So once we get our paws on this for a little bit longer, I'm thinking it's going to score very high. And I'll tell you right now, I'm impressed. Well done, Ford. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. See you next time. So Ryan, what should you buy? That's a tough call. I mean, I like them equally, but for different reasons. I mean, the ride quality in the Prius is, it's just sublime. It's, it's almost Lexus-like. The Ford though, the steering, I love it. Um, it's a little more aggressive and the suspension's a little bit better and it can really take on the horsepower. So in the end, you know what? I'd actually pro probably have to go with my confidant, probably have to go with my wife and let her make that final decision because I like them both. Ryan, you are a wise man for your young age. <laughs> <laughs>